This is Tanks Vlog, November 14, 2018. Wrapping up today in sports. Wrapping up the big birthday celebration at the Prudential Center with Stu Source, Stu Finer. And the Devils got the win. They truly needed that win. It was, oh, they've been playing horrific hockey. And uh, it was an absolute great game. I liked all the people that came out and uh, got to share my uh, moose cake. Uh, I wish I um, had a little bit more people. And, uh, of course, went up to the um, suite and shared the Revian up there, too. And got this nice uh, Hall of Fame Marty Brodor poster. There's the Hall of Fame logo. As uh, the uh, Devils honored Martin Brodor going into the Hall of Fame, his induction ceremony was on Monday. And it was Taylor Hall with a Hall worthy performance. Uh, the MVP. Came out and just was terrific. And, uh, what can you say? He played, he got the, uh, set up an early goal, 28 seconds in the game. Devils were leading the Penguins. Now, of course, they came off a one and six road trip, and the only one win was in Pittsburgh. So maybe they got the Penguins number or something, but that's not important. After the Penguins tied it, the Devils regained the lead in the second period. Second period, And they should have had a dirt goal, but it was wiped out because there was a fight on the ice and the ref said, Oh, I meant to blow the whistle. I meant to blow the whistle. That referee meant to blow it out his ass. And then Keith Kincaid gets run over in the dirt period. Nope, no goal to interference. A defensive player led to that penguin rolling him, uh, crashing into the goalie. <sighs> no worries, it was Taylor Hall. Taylor Hall who came through. Put the Devils up with a goal. He had two assists already, so he had a three-point night. And then when the uh, game was uh, winding down, it was Taylor Hall once again. A second goal. An empty net goal. To ice the win. 4-2. Although, well, 4-3 would have been a little shaky. I'm happy with 4-2. But it was 43 degrees. So on my 43rd birthday, it was 43 degrees after the game. But it was great. I uh, Thanks to uh, Stu Finer for bringing that great sheet cake, the great moose cake with a whole bunch of pictures put around on the cake. It was absolute terrific cake. Uh, then we got up to a, we got put into a suite. I have never watched a game before from a suite. The first, my first suite experience, uh, they had those mini hot dogs, the mini hamburgers, the little pe little piece of uh, cheese steak, an empanada. Ah, oh, jeez, I had it all. Cheese popcorn, M&M's. Yes, I picked out. I say I'm sorry. The diet's off for a day, okay? It's my birthday. Come on, what do you expect? Uh, but that's what it was. It's a great night. Uh, Stu's father was there and a couple of his friends were there. So it was terrific as always. And it was great. And thanks for the Devils for allowing us to bring the cake into the arena. Thanks to the people who uh, met us down at the uh, box office uh, before the game. Thanks to the people up in the suite who were sharing with us. Uh, got to sing happy birthday to me. I got to blow out the candles in the suite. Uh, so thanks to everyone. Thanks to the Devils. Thanks to Taylor Hall for scoring two goals and two assists. And you know what's funny? Do you know what? You know what Wednesday is, don't you? It's Taylor Hall's birthday! So Taylor Hall made my birthday special with two goals and two assists, and now it's his 27th birthday. Happy birthday, Taylor Hall. Maybe the Devils could bring down this slice of cake for you.
Another special moment tonight was in New Jersey was on the women's basketball circuit where C. Vivian Stringer became the sixth coach in college basketball. Uh, five of them are coaching women. One of them is Coach K, the only men's coach to do it. To have won 1,000 games. So congratulations to C. Vivian Stringer and the uh, Rutgers Scarlet Knights. Uh, she joins Tara Vander Van Van Vanderveer, Sylvia Hatchell, Gino Ariema, and Pat Summit as the only coaches in Division I to have won 1,000 games. Elsewhere in the NHL, it was the Islanders clobbering the Canucks 5-2. The Panthers skated by the Flyers 2-1. The Sabres over the Lightning 2-1. It was Detroit Red Wings 6, Arizona Coyotes 1. The Capitals beat the Wild 5-2. It was the Oilers' 6-2 winners over the Canadian. And the Maple Leafs beat the Kings 5-1. And the Sharks beat the Predators 5-4. NBA. Oh my god, the Cleveland Cadabras won a game. The Cadabras beat the Charlotte Hornets 113-89. It was the Rockets. 109-99 winners over the Nuggets. And the Warriors beat the Hawks 110-103. Today's three stars are Taylor Hall of the Devils, James Harden of the Rockets, Roberto Luongo of the Panthers. Uh, and of course, as we mentioned before, birthday shout-out goes to Taylor Hall. It's also Jack Sigma's birthday. Speaking of Hall, the NBA Hall of Fame puts Tracy McGrady in the Hall of Fame. How come Jack Sigma is not in the Hall of Fame? Can someone answer me why Jack Sigma is not in the Hall of Fame? Tracy McGrady's in the Hall of Fame, and Jack Sigma's not. And we take a look back to 1943, when slinging Sammy Ball, the man that could do it all. He threw four touchdown passes. He threw, he caught four interceptions, setting an NFL record. That was the first player to have four, four interception game. It's been done now 20 times, but there's never been a five interception game. So it's still the record. And he also had an 81-yard punt just to put a cherry on it. Bing! So check that story out at Barstool Sports. And at Sports Encyclopedia, where sports history lives. And don't forget to listen to Allow Me to Be Frank, the weekly podcast you can hear on SoundCloud and iTunes. Tune in. We did a preview of what was going to happen at the Prudential Center. With Stu Finer, so it's like a, it's like, it was like a ba basically a birthday show, so you can listen to what my recap of the birthday and the preview of the birthday. That's the yin and yang of it. Good day.